Hi, my name is John Gibson. I'm with All American Roofing, and today we're going to talk about the correct installation of front wall flashings and step flashings that are an integral part of the roof shingle system. Please stay tuned for further information. So we're just going to bring this around, eh? So we're going to bring it around the corner. So you want to make sure it's like in tight. And push it down. And this is how we're going to do the cup. We're going to fold it around the corner. 30 mil. This goes underneath that. So we're looking pretty square there, right? So you mark it around the back. And this cut here, you bring it back over 25 mil. And so we're gonna make a return on this. You keep this little bit in where the corner is. Bring it around the corner there. So we don't have a corner, a cut on the corner. Any water that comes down, it comes down to here. So it won't get in where the joint is. And you can see that this is where the angle would be, where the cut would be going around the corner. And so any moisture, it's, that's like that 25 mil up and it's going to wash down this way and it's not going to go into the joint. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get some sealant and put sealant up this way and then it's got a, a total watertight joint. But even if it was to get, uh, even with the sealant failing, this is almost technically watertight without the caulking. We're just going to put the caulking in just to, an additional little bit of coverage. And then that's basically it. And you can see how the water is going to come down this way. And then that's all sealed up, right? So this step flashing here, at the butt of the, the course of shingles is when we shove another, another one in, okay? So these, these uh, step flashings should go above the next course, the butt of this one. The code requires it just to be 50 mil because water will seep up this way about, you know, two inches. So then we're going to put this step flash into the edge of the ply, which is there. Oh, it's a little bit awkward here. I put one on top. And keep your nails up high. You can also put one nail down here. We we'll also have a tendency of kicking it up and that holds it down, okay? Now with the, the water that's going to come in here, the water enters here and it's going to track down this way and that's called the angle of weep, and it's just due to capillary action. So that's why the step flashes. You give me another step. So the step flashes like this. So we know that the water is going to enter in at this point here, which is approximately here, and it's going to track down at one third, an angle of weep at one third of this height. So this height is 140 mil. So 50 mil is going to follow this line here, about 50 mil, which is about there. So if we, if we put a nail there, it's good. It's, it's, so that's the way the water is going to track there. 
So sometimes what you'll see is that they'll put a continuous piece of metal all the way up there, right? And, or else they'll put one on top of it and it'll, ju it'll just leaks because the water's getting in. And so then you just basically go all the way up. Just a little like quarter inch gap. trying to catch you're trying to go clean with the the, the plywood there So that's basically how you do the set fashions. So with with a with a typically what's happening with in Australia in the past is with shingle roofs is that they'd be using a the, the color bond flashing system. It works for a color bond, but here when they put this down, it the water gets in underneath this and it it just leaks. So they'll they'll I think maybe sometimes they'll put caulking underneath this and push this down and then just leave it as it is. And it's just it's a terrible way of flashing it three methods of waterproofing something. The first one is mechanical and chemical. So with our step flashings, you know, that's a mechanical way of doing it, right? The, the next one is just mechanical. So it's just, it's based on like the physics of how it works with capillary action. And then the, the least favorable waterproofing technique is uh, chemical, which is just caulking. So when you run a bit of caulking down there, squash that down, and leave it be is just relying on the caulking or the seal or the silicone to keep it waterproof and that that will fail because it's relying on a chemical to keep it watertight so it's not mechanically watertight so as soon as the the caulking fails you've got a leak and that can be really bad because it will leak a little bit and you won't notice it and then it will leak a lot from that little leak and that can cause like mold to build up you know before you know you notice you've got a leak in the ceiling, you got a massive, potentially structural problem. 80% of roof leaks are caused by flashing. A good roof system has redundancies in place of waterproofing, so like, it's not just a single thing that's gonna, where the points are critical that it could fail. You wanna have a couple, like you gotta have the sarking up the wall, you gotta have your step flashings in place, and then the shingles all done correctly, because just one, and if it fails, it's, it's just gonna give you nightmares. Sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll run this up, and then put the shingles on top of this with caulking as well. But then as soon as the caulking fails, it leaks, right? And then the, the, the repair, to, to, to repair these jobs is, is you're taking the cladding off and then you're having to take off the old flashing and then put all the flashings back in and it can be a complete disaster, right? And that's why you do step. So every, every single one is an individual piece. That's a step flashing. Every single course has a piece of flashing.